After quitting his job as a security guard, a man named Larry starts up his own company as an inventor. He attends a TV show to introduce his most recent invention and later returns to his office. He doesn't spend much time there before he decides to head to the museum in New York, where he used to work as a security guard. As he finds his way in, and despite the museum being closed for renovations, he sees that most of the exhibits have been packed in boxes. Shortly after, he sees his old boss, Dr. McPhee, who is surprised to see Larry at the museum for the first time since he quit. Larry asks him what's going on with the boxes, and Dr. McPhee says things are about to change at the museum. He says all the exhibits in the museum will be sent to the Smithsonian Castle at the Federal Archives Museum in Washington, and they will be replaced with holograms to make things more interactive at the city's museum. Larry is shocked to hear this, but McPhee says people are now more interested in technology, and it has become important for the museum to do what people want. Larry asks if anything can be done to save the exhibits, but McPhee says that everything has been finalized and they will be transferred in the morning. While McPhee heads out, Larry waits at the museum until the sun comes down. Suddenly, the exhibits and statues in the museum appear to come alive and start talking to Larry. Among them is the statue of a man named Teddy Roosevelt, who says it has been a while since he saw Larry. Another man named Achmen Ra also shows up, looking surprised to see the former security guard. Larry asks about what's happening to them, and Teddy says things have been quite different since he left, and they're about to be separated and taken to a deep storage facility in the Federal Archives Museum. Two miniature exhibits, Jedediah and Octavius, blame Larry for what's happening to them, but he says he'll try his best to save them. Shortly after, Teddy asks him to let all of them enjoy their last night together, and when they're through, they all get back into their boxes. Larry asks about Teddy's box, but he says he and some other significant exhibits will be staying put at the museum. Just then, Larry asks about a special tablet responsible for bringing them to life after midnight, but Teddy says the tablet will stay with its owner, Achmen Ra, who is also not leaving the museum. Since the tablet is why they can all come alive, Teddy tells Larry that this is the last night the other exhibits will ever be alive. Larry is disappointed to hear this, but soon leaves in the morning when all the statues return to normal. He heads back to his office after picking up his kid, Nikki, who also knows about the exhibits. Nikki asks if his dad can't do anything to save them, but he says he has already tried everything he can. Shortly after, his phone rings, and as he picks it up, it turns out to be Jedediah. Larry is shocked to hear him, but he says they're under attack from Achmenra's older brother, King Kamunra. He also says that the monkey from the New York Museum, who accompanied them on the trip, stole the special tablet, and that's why all the exhibits at the Federal Archives Museum are alive. The call soon ends, and as Larry wonders what he'll do next, Nikki urges him to help the exhibits. He soon leaves and heads for the Federal Archives Museum. After looking around for a while, he sees a tomb and tries to touch it. However, a security guard named Brandon stops him. As he and Brandon then argue about whether he really wanted to touch the tomb, Larry is able to steal the guard's keycard from him. He then heads to the underground section, which is where the older exhibits are hidden. With the help of Nikki, who communicates with him through an earphone, Larry is able to find the route leading to where the exhibits are. He also has to change into a security guard uniform to blend in. When Larry gets to the underground storage facility, he takes a walk around to find Jedediah and the others. Along the way, he sees a box and opens it to check if it contains his friends, but he sees that it contains a large octopus. He locks it back and continues walking, after which he sees the king and his men trying to get into a container. Larry realizes that Jedediah and the others are inside the container, where the monkey is also holding the tablet. Larry manages to get the tablet, but just as he heads out, the sun comes down and the statues come alive. The king sees him holding the tablet and immediately asks for it. He says he needs it to open the gate of the underworld, to bring his soldiers to come over and conquer the world. After he's threatened, Larry gives up the tablet but tells the king that he also knows about a special cube that can help deal with his enemies. As this could make him more powerful, the king asks for it, and Larry leads him and his men to the octopus's box. After he opens it, the octopus appears to be alive, and it attacks the king and his men. Larry takes back the tablet, and as he looks for a way to escape, an army general named George shows up on a bike and offers him a ride. After riding away for a while, George eventually falls off the bike, but Larry keeps going. He ends up getting stopped by a lady named Amelia Earhart, who introduces herself as the first woman to fly a plane across the Atlantic Ocean. He tells her he's trying to run away from the king, and as they're walking around, he sees that the pictures in the museum are also live. As he admires them, the king's men surround him and Amelia, and to escape, 
they run into one of the old pictures. The soldiers follow them inside, but they're able to avoid getting caught, and Larry loses contact with Nikki. He and Amelia are soon able to escape, and also trap the king's men inside the picture. As they're then walking away, Larry tells Amelia to stop following him, because things could get dangerous, but she tells him she likes adventures, and for that reason, she'll keep following him. He finally agrees, but tells her not to blame him if anything happens. Meanwhile, the king seeks the help of three men, Al Capone, Ivan the Terrible, and Napoleon, to help him get the tablet from Larry. He tells the men that he needs the tablet to be able to rule the world, and they can enjoy the benefits together. With this, the three men set out with their soldiers to fight for the king's cause. After a while, Napoleon and his men capture Larry and seize the tablet from him, after which he's taken to meet the king, with Amelia also following them. Elsewhere, Jedediah and Octavius get tired of sitting around and listening to George, who has also been locked in the container. They decide to escape, but as they come out, they see Al Capone's men outside. Jedediah asks Octavius to escape, while he waits behind and gets caught. Following this, he is taken to meet the king, who is amused by how small he is. Shortly after, Napoleon also returns with Larry and the tablet. The king is quick to get back the tablet, to use it to open the gate of the underworld, but the passcode seems to have been changed. Despite this, the king says he'll keep trying until he gets the right code. However, Larry reminds him that when the sun is up, all the exhibits will get frozen, and this will make it easier for him to take the tablet back. Seeing as Larry really has nothing to lose, the king threatens to harm Jedediah if Larry doesn't help him get the correct passcode. He throws Jedediah into an hourglass and tells Larry that he has an hour to get the correct codes, or his little friend will sink in the sand. With this, Larry has to head out with Amelia to find a way to translate the words on the tablet to get a clue as to what could be the passcode. After a while, they see a different statue of Teddy and ask him to help them translate the tablet. He does this, and they're able to get a clue, but Teddy says he doesn't know more than he has already told them. Then, Larry and Amelia move on to ask another statue called the Thinker, but he turns out to not be useful in their search for the passcode. Suddenly, Larry remembers that he saw some little Einstein figures in the air and space section of the museum, so he tells Amelia they must go there. As they're heading to the other section of the museum, the king sees Larry and Amelia leaving the building, so he assumes that they're running away. Because of this, he calls on his soldiers to go after them. Larry and Amelia eventually have to hide when they see some soldiers looking for them. They immediately get into a building with the statue of Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States. Amelia then asks Larry why he knows so much about the exhibits, and he says he used to be a guard at the New York Museum. She asks why he quit, and he says he found another unique opportunity. He tells her he's now an inventor, and she asks if he likes his new job. Despite saying he does, Amelia says he doesn't look like someone who enjoys what he's doing. Just then, Abraham Lincoln's statue wakes up, and they have to beg him to stay still when the king's soldiers are passing by. After successfully avoiding capture, Larry and Amelia head to the Air and Space Museum, where things are lively and all the statues are also alive. After looking around for a while, they find the Einstein figures, and it doesn't take them long before providing the passcode. Before Larry and Amelia can decide what to do next, the King's men break into the museum to attack them. However, they're able to get on a plane to escape. While the King is threatening to kill Jedediah in the hourglass, Larry and Amelia's plane breaks into the room. Larry tells the king that he now has the passcode, but he wants Jedediah released first. As they argue about it for a while, the king's men come in and tell him the passcode they got from one of the Einstein figures. With this, the king takes back the tablet and gives the hourglass to Larry. He then inserts the tablet into the gate, and after typing in the right passcode, the gate opens. As the king looks happy to finally be able to open the gate after many years, Larry says sorry to Jedediah for quitting his job and leaving all the exhibits alone at the New York Museum. Even though Jedediah mentions that it's not his fault, Larry says that if he had stayed, they wouldn't have been transferred to Washington and the king wouldn't have gotten the tablet. Just then, the gate opens and the king leads some of his soldiers with animal faces out of the underworld. As the king asks his men to attack Larry, Octavius finally shows up again on the back of a squirrel, looking ready to attack. The king asks Larry if he really thinks Octavius can save him, but the miniature man says he's not the one they should be scared of. Shortly after, Abraham Lincoln breaks into the museum and gets everyone scared. Despite the statue's size, the king still asks his men to attack, but all their weapons bounce off Lincoln's body. He then fights back 
and beats off the soldiers, who get really scared and return to the underworld. Despite the king telling them to wait, before Abraham Lincoln leaves, he advises Larry, saying that a house divided against itself cannot stand. This gives Larry an idea, but before he can do anything, the king instructs his other men to attack. As they're about to charge towards Larry, General George leads all the exhibits out of the container, and a huge fight starts. Shortly after, Larry sees George hiding during the battle and asks why he's not joining the fight. He says he's scared, but Larry motivates him, and this makes him return to battle. Meanwhile, Jedediah continues to sink in the hourglass, and as he talks about how he might die soon, Octavius breaks the glass and saves his friend. The two men then help in the battle in the little way they can. While the fighting is still going on, Larry finds Amelia and tells her that as soon as he gives her a signal, he wants her to use the tablet to open the gate to the underworld. She agrees to do this, and just as he goes back to fight, Larry is stopped by Al Capone, Napoleon, and Ivan the Terrible. They ask him to give up the tablet, but he tells them to show him who their boss is so he can give it to him. The three men start arguing about who the leader is, and not long after, they start fighting. Before Larry can get away, the king stops him, and commends him for the plan to get his top accomplices to fight each other. Larry says he only followed Abraham Lincoln's advice to divide them, but this only pisses the king. Just as he's about to attack, Larry defends himself with a torch and passes the tablet to Amelia. As the two men continue fighting, she opens the gate, and after a while, Larry overpowers the king and pushes him into the underworld. With this, everyone jubilates to finally see the king get defeated. Larry checks his watch and realizes that it's almost morning and he must get all the exhibits back to the New York Museum. Jedediah reminds him that there's no space for them there, but Larry says he has a plan. He then begs Amelia to fly them to the museum, and when they get there, he thanks her. He also informs her that she'll get frozen for life without the tablet at the museum in Washington, but she says she doesn't care. She adds that she had a lot of fun on their adventure, and that's enough for her. Larry heads into the museum to see Teddy, who thanks him for bringing back the others. Before it's sunrise and they all get frozen again, Teddy also welcomes Larry back. Later that night, the museum is open to the public, and McPhee is surprised to see Teddy back at his old job. He asks why he came back and if he was fired, but Larry says he sold his company. McPhee then mentions that it's an interesting coincidence because a generous donor sent a large sum of money to keep the museum open and to also have the exhibits displayed again. He takes a moment to wonder if it could have been Larry, but he eventually takes his mind off it, thinking it can never be him. Larry just continues to look around as all the exhibits are alive and moving around to make the museum interactive, just as McPhee had planned. However, no one knows if they're real or not, because Larry has gotten them to behave like robots. Later on, McPhee asks if Larry will be around for a long time, and he says he will. Even though he doesn't feel comfortable saying it, McPhee then tells Larry that he's the best security guard he has ever had. A while later, as he's walking around the museum, Larry sees a lady who looks just like Amelia. He approaches her and asks if she's related to anyone named Amelia, but the lady says she's not. He tells her that she looks a lot like someone he knows, and she says that she gets that a lot. He then tells her that if she's not too busy, she can check the Hall of Miniatures. She looks interested in this and then asks him if he can take her there, and Larry agrees. 